Guys, it is good to see you all. Tell me how you are all feeling, first of all, now that the dust has kind of settled. I know it's been a little while for you guys, but for us, we've obviously only just seen how things panned out. But how are you feeling? I feel good. Mixed emotions for me. Yeah. yeah. It's been an emotional roller coaster. It has, yeah. it has. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's nice to talk about it. Nice for it to be out in the open, yes. for sure. It's great to see everyone today. Do you know what I mean? Of we course. all got on so well um, throughout that whole experience, yeah. particularly the boys. Um, so it's good to reconnect. OK, yeah. well, Stephen, seeing as you touched on it very briefly, let's come to you what first. Did I do? <laughs> on how things have worked out, I was so heartbroken. that Because we saw you walk down the aisle. You said, I do. And then it it's not worked out. No. Any regrets for going through all, everything that you did or um, how are you feeling? No, I don't have any regrets. Obviously in a breakup, um, when you're watching your breakup, because that's a first, obviously, imagine. you raise certain questions about your own behavior and hindsight. So maybe there's some regrets in, in that element of things, but going through the whole process, no, none whatsoever. I was a little bit heartbroken to hear it didn't work out, but mm -hmm. you guys are smiling mm -hmm. and that's the main thing. Freddie and, and Tom, you were the guys who did the leaving at the altar, but Ollie, oh. you were left <laughs> at the altar. How, oh. how was it? Because actually I was, I thought it was really admirable how you dealt with it all. I didn't want all the weight to come down on Demi. I think leading up to that, there have been conversations that had led us both to believe that it probably wasn't the right time for us. I didn't yeah. want it to be, and, and ultimately I, I wanted to come away from this with my head held high and we're both happy regardless of, of what the outcome was, so to speak. So I think I touched on, on it at the time. It's like, I've still got a best friend in her for yeah. life. I've still got best friends in these guys. So yeah. I refuse to come away thinking of myself as anything other than a winner just because I didn't get married. I don't look at it as like first and second place. If you come away with a, uh, you know, a head full of memories and, a, and, and new friends, how can I look at it as anything other than a good thing? Yeah. Have you guys all been hanging out in the interim? Like, have you as seen much, much? As much as we can. Yeah, I mean, yeah it's I, been very minimal. Yeah, I mean, I live up north, so for me it's been hard, but I've kept in touch with a couple of lads yeah. and stuff. But yeah, we're, we're, all, we're all in touch. Yeah, we're all mates. Mate. We're all mates, yeah. you know. Yeah. Everybody, the whole, everybody. Is there a the group process. WhatsApp? There's a few. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who's not in, in which one? <laughs> 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 I get political. <laughs> Someone, no, well then. I don't get involved. I don't get involved. Just don't answer. You just you got the muted, Freddie. I just don't get involved. He's the quiet one in the I'm group. the quiet yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like you said, it didn't work out for you guys, but it didn't necessarily mean that it was the end. So have you seen like that your prospective other halves or have you been on any other dates with anyone else in the meantime? For me personally, you know, it, it was the journey was it was a roller coaster, like mm -hmm. Steve said, uh, ups and downs, and it was very overwhelming, a lot of pressure. Yeah. Um, and I met an amazing girl, but there was a lot of pressure from her. I felt on me as well. Yeah. Um, and it wasn't until the the moment between sort of um, we, we had a bit of we had a brief spell where we were at home prior to the weddings. Yeah. You know where we had a bit of a time to ourselves, and it was really that time where I had time to kind of reflect on myself and think. I've got the opportunity now, my, my mind's clear and I had a bit of clarity. Um, but up until that point, it was just a lot of pressure. Mm -hmm. But I have stayed in touch with Kat. Okay. Uh, she's a good girl. We did try and sort of continue things after, but I think it was quite clear that we were quite okay. different. And um, personally, I've not I've not been dating, okay. um, but I'm not, obviously I can't speak for Kat. Okay. There's a lot of love out there for you, though, Freddie. I don't know if you've seen it, but there's a lot of love, so you're not going to be oh sure on, uh, on others. Honestly, the comment section on my social media is just about Freddie. <laughs> it's like, can, can I meet Freddie? Aww. <laughs> yeah, they can. How about you and Marie? What? Similar story to Freddie, I think. Like, um, Maria and I were, like, we had an amazing journey together um, mm -hmm. and got on so, so well. Obviously, the differences in our values were probably the, the main reason why we didn't work out. We were fully intending on... Um, on staying in contact, yeah. it's just, it's hard. Like when you break up with someone, particularly when you break up in front of millions of people, um, there is like, it's hard to stay in touch with any ex, right? Yeah. But um, so I think, you know, we stayed in touch for a few weeks after the show and um, have been in touch sporadically. Um, obviously I think, you know, I have to respect her feelings about how some of the show sort of was portrayed and, and her feelings around that. So yeah. um, always got a lot of time for her and a lot of respect, but yeah, I'm not sure it'd be appropriate for us to be besties. That's fair enough, yeah. It's a lot. I can't even imagine watching this all back. Did you actually want to watch it back, or is it like, no, guys, you know what I mean? miss. <laughs> <There are> some <laughs> bits between Andrew yeah. Wood and others. But yeah, it's weird, because I think, I don't know if you guys feel the same, but when you're watching it, it kind of takes you back there again. Yeah, yeah so definitely. The bits that made you feel really, really happy, make you feel happy again, the bits mm. that weren't so easy, you kind of 
go through that again. Yeah. So it's, like, it's a weird one. Definitely. We, we all had different highs and lows, didn't we? Like, like for me, like the pods was amazing. Yes. It was like there was some real magic around it. And it was just, it was hanging out with these boys, but then also those dates. It was like, it was like therapy for me, those yeah. pods being one on one with all those people. So um, the rest of it I found a bit more challenging. Mm. Yeah, I found the first four episodes emotional. Yeah. I, was crying, I was crying at his reveal, let alone my own. It was emotional, it was yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, And that's where you caught the feelings for the yeah. first time, was yeah. during that process, yes. you know. And it's the first time we saw each other date. And mm. so you, you only saw the one side of your mate going through what they went through, their own <laughs> journeys, and, and activate their own obstacles and hurdles. But you didn't actually see what was going on and what what was, what was caused the result of that, you know? Was yeah. there anything when you were watching it back that you saw the other do, you are like, oh, dude, why did you do that? Yeah, loads. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I've seen stuff and I'm thinking like, hmm. You're not okay. going to be specific. No, but there's definitely <laughs> things I've seen, I'm thinking, yeah. oh, okay. But yeah. for me, it was the other way around. I was like, fuck it, Ollie's got, Ollie's got game. I mean, I need to learn some stuff from Are you him. taking tears? You're so, like, yeah, nice. exactly, exactly. Free okay, then like I'm a oh, no, no, no. girl who has struggled to meet a guy for the longest time. So what is your advice? What would you say is the best way to meet a guy for me? Well, There's a show called Lovers <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I will be signing up yeah. for the next series. <laughs> as cheesy as it sounds, I think when you're not looking for it, sometimes that's the best time. It's like you can bump in someone in like a, a mutual hobby or ever be that. The run clubs are the thing these days, isn't they? Mm. Oh god, I tried, I tried it, guys. Everyone's moving. I was down the back. <laughs> but yeah, I think things like that. Like, I think I don't know. What do you guys? Think? I think like my experience on that. It was all about dating with intent, right? And mm. like going into date saying, "This is who I am. This is what I'm looking for in a partner." And I think when you do that, it shows that you're taking that experience seriously. So I'd, I'd do that in a, any dating situation moving forward. Okay. I say just be yourself. Don't go in there with expectations. Right. Then it takes all the pressure away. Then you can be yourself. You can be vulnerable. Mm. And then that's where the beauty happens, I think. Okay. Come on, uh, yeah, same. <laughs> I just think just, you know, it'll just naturally occur, hopefully. But I'd rather, see, I, I'm not the kind of, kind of person to go out to like clubs and stuff and so we've chat, heard. To, chat to girls and stuff. <laughs> so I'd just rather meet someone in my car phone warehouse or something. <laughs> Yeah. Where's your contract? Be up for an yeah. for an yeah. The nation wants to know. You're an upgrade. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to be swarms of girls hanging outside the yeah. I mean, bones, not girls. Yeah. Brilliant. I will try that. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. I'll see you outside the car. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, it's been genuinely really enjoyable. Like to spend that time with you, weirdly, through a TV screen. It's been really lovely. So I know you probably didn't get the outcome that you wanted, but. You made for great TV. Oh so. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank and I do wish you yeah. luck. You know what? Everyone wants love in their lives, right, at some point. So here's hoping. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. 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 Thank you.